Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm at the Valley Shopping Village near Evesham today. The reason we've come here is not so much to have a look at the shops, although we might have a look afterwards. It's because there's a railway here. It's the home of the 15-inch gauge Evesham Vale Railway. Uh, it's been here since 2002. I've never been here before, so today is my first time on this railway. But I've always wanted to come here, so I'm very excited to see this railway. I believe they're running steam today. So let's go and have a look. So the railway is just up here. So we're probably a couple of miles away from Evesham. Haven't come by train today. You could, but it'd be quite a long walk. So I came by car. So that's the station just there. Um, there's also a rather large garden centre down there. So if you come here by car, you can have a pretty good day out at the garden centre, shopping village, most importantly, the railway. So let's have a look what we've got here. We come to the very end of the line. We can see there's a turntable. So what we should do later on before we see the locomotive turning, let's go and have a look at the station and uh, see what else we can see. We'll have a ride, do a bit of line siding. The park out there looks very nice, so we'll, we'll certainly explore all of that. And we'll just have a general look around, really, and, and a ride. So here we are. This is Twyford Station. So this is the ticket office. So we'll go in here. I'll have to run back and buy my ticket, but here's the little ticket office. And here is the train. So it looks like to get on the train, we're going to have to go around the end of the turntable. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. There's like a bike, a rail bike, pedal powered train. That's quite a fun thing to have a go on. Let's just go up here and have a look at the logo. So there's the train waiting there to depart. Oh no, the loco we have today is called Dougal. I've seen pictures of this loco. It comes from Longleat, or it was originally built for Longleat by Seven Lamb in about 1970. So it worked at Longleat and it's worked at one or two other places and it's now here. So it's probably the oldest loco they've got, oldest steam loco they've got. Because I can see a list of diesel and a Ruston Hornby diesel. Now those would be X two foot gauge locos, which have been regaged to 15 inch to work on that line. So what I'm going to do now, I need to go into the ticket office, buy my ticket, and we'll go for a ride, and then, as I said, we'll do a bit of line siding. So let's go and ride the Evesham Vale Light Railway. And oh, by the way, one other thing I was to say, this is Twyford Station, not to be confused at all with Twyford on the Great Western Main Line, which is the junction for the Henley branch, completely different Twyford. But it's another Twyford station. So there's two Twyford stations. Um, passed through to Twyford on the main line with steam a few times. Um, but now we're going to do steam from this Twyford station. So I'm going to go and buy my ticket and off we go. Quite steadily. Okay. We're given a pleasure ride rather than a. Uh, yes, I Yeah. That's going to be an hour. 
eight miles an hour, is it? Yeah. Four miles an hour across seven to twelve miles. Okay. So what would you say we're doing about now? Yeah, we're getting up to eight miles an hour. Okay. Double walk station. Yeah, that makes sense, yeah. Scenic view from a railway. Yeah, I can see the view. So the River Avon's just, just below us, is it? Yeah, down in the valley. Yeah. So those greenhouses, are they on the other side of the river? Uh, I'm not too sure. Okay. No worries. Now the camera's probably not picking it out, but I can just see the, the Great Western Railway's bridge over the river in the far distance. many Premier Inns with a railway here, or like this at the end of this car. Oh yeah, so level 1 in 56. Oh yeah, and I can feel now we're climbing quite significantly. Yeah, that makes sense, yeah. Summit ahead of us.
might need to run in 65 quite the way from the station here. And obviously it's got a sharp curve as well. You get a bit of drag from the coach is coming around the corner. Make the engine work nice and hard. Yes. Yeah, as I saw from the line side earlier. Thank you very much, thank you. I really enjoyed that, great to have a cab ride, the driver very kindly let me ride with him in the cab so we got more than just a ride in the train, we got a full cab ride. Here's the engine sheds here, so let's have a walk past the engine sheds in the yard, we can see what we've seen there. My plan is to walk into the country park, do some line siding and just show you a bit more of the railway from the line side. Look at this loco we have here, this loco is called Monty, built by the Exmoor Steam Railway and I can just see the workers plate is number Exmoor number 300, built in July 1996, so younger than me. I went to the Exmoor Steam Railway when it was still open to the public in 1995, 
I'll put the link on the screen now, you can see that video. So that was before this loco was built, but you'll see some of her sisters. There's the Lister loco over there. We'll just go around here. We can see that other loco I said about. It looks like you can see right out over the Vale of Evesham. So we'll go and have a look at the views we're going to get on today's video. I think from the, you know, from the train, you can see you've got some pretty nice views. We'll go and look at them on foot. Some more carriages. These are perhaps more the not so good weather carriages because they're all very enclosed and um, the ones we had were semi open carriages and here's the other diesel that's out today Cromwell so that's a Ruston Hornsby so that would have also been two foot gauge originally but it's been regaged to 15 inch so that's the track work you can see the engine sheds over there rail line goes off up there so I'm going to go for a walk now we'll have a little look around the other end of the line do some line siding and um, see what see what else we can see Well, as I walk towards the other station, I've just come down for a bit of a woodland. Seems to be in an orchard now. You can see, surrounded by apple trees. What we're going to do, I want to, from the train, I saw a very good viewpoint where I'll see the train and look across the Vale of Evesham. So we get to here. Oh, yeah, look, there's a foot crossing here. There's quite a few foot crossings on the railway, as you would have seen when we travelled. And uh, the loco whistles every time he comes to one, just to let people know, you know, they are crossing a railway. So we cross the railway, definitely safe, no train coming yet. And um, so you always sort of know when a train's coming because you, you hear him whistle for each crossing. So what the railway does is effectively just there, there's the junction where it goes on the loop. The loop goes right around there, over to where those trees are, and the tunnel is just over there. So what my plan is, we're gonna go just past here to Evesham Vale Station. And from Evesham Vale Station, there is a foot crossing at the end of the platform and that's where we'll go to the point where we should get a really good view of the railway line. So if we go through here, here is Evesham Vale Station and as you can see Evesham Vale Station looking over the Vale of Evesham. Picnic area, country park walk. So a lot of families use the train to come to this play area, have a picnic. So it's quite nice in, if you come on this train you can actually use it, you know, a to B rather than just a ride. So the train will come in here, but the junction is just up there. So the loop goes sort of right around there. 
but I want to go down there to watch the train go past where I think we're going to get a pretty good view of the train. Now I'm going to hang around up this end of the line, do a bit of line siding and then walk back. So the end of the platform, you can see that's the junction. So the train will pass on that track, go right around the loop and end up coming into here. And there's also a siding. So let's go down here. Oh yeah, and this is perfect. Just what I was looking for. A really nice viewpoint. I think I just heard the whistle, so that's probably the train departing from the station. So I've probably got about five minutes now to wait for the train to come. The camera's not picking it out. You may have heard me say to the driver, but just over there is Evesham, and I can just make out the bridge where the um, railway line from Oxford up to Worcester crosses the River Avon. So the River Avon, I think I've worked out from looking at a map. See all those greenhouses down there? It must be just before them. It's literally at the bottom of the hill, but we can't see the River Avon at this point. So, also this, point, this path might be wrong, but it looks like it's made out of um, ashes from the firebox of the steam loco. So I might be wrong there, but that's what it looks like to me. Oh, and look, there's a sound whistle. See that SW? That means sound whistle. So yeah, that's it, because there is, there's another foot crossing there. So the thing to do now, I'm gonna stand here, wait for the train to arrive, and then we'll go and have a look. So one thing we've got to do, I think, seeing we're down this end, I wanna walk over the top of the tunnel. So we'll wait and see the train, and then we'll wait for, we'll go for another little walk. Well, it's a good place to see the train go past and passengers enjoying the fantastic views of the Vale of Evesham. You actually see, look on the other side of the hedge, you can just see the track. So the train will, once it's gone around the whole loop, come back to here. So if we walk along this path, I'm thinking if we stay in between the two tracks, we should head towards where the tunnel is because, as we saw when we were on the train, people were walking on top of the tunnel. So that's definitely a path. I can just see the train disappearing around there. So effectively, although it's although it's hard to see at this point, the, the, the two tracks are either side, except the other one is on the other side of the hedge. So that's where the big loop is. Perhaps what we'll do, if we walk to here, we should be able to see the train coming out of the tunnel if there's a gap in the hedge. And then what I'll do, like I said, I'm gonna do some line siding. Perhaps there we'll be able to see the train going into the tunnel. So when we get to here, Although I can't see it, I'm thinking the tunnel's got to be over there. The track that way goes off there. So the lowest point on the line is just down there. Ah, there we are. Look, here is the tunnel just there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to wait here, see the train. I think the train's some halfway around the loop. So he's gone off around there. Let's wait and see the train pass through the tunnel. That was good seeing the train come out the tunnel. So what we're going to do now, been under the tunnel, let's go over the tunnel. So the loop now, like I said, separates out around us. It's funny when you're down there, because there was a hotel and services, there was a KFC and a Costa, what do people think when they're sitting there drinking their coffee? Did you see the little train, you know, on the ledge above you? I know if I was here and I didn't know this railway was here, I'd probably, you know, go mad with excitement and I'd be walking up this hill trying to find out where to get on it to have a ride. So, like I say, it's um, it's actually quite nice in that if you were, say, driving from the Midlands 
to the southwest or you know towards Bristol area or from Wales across towards London you could break your journey here have a cup of tea you know, and um, have a ride on the train because it's it's one of those places you know that could be in the middle of your journey if you're going where I said so uh, there's another crossing just there I think this path here is going up a hill under the lime tree so it's going up into a tunnel so uh, the railway line must be around there somewhere this is looking like we're heading up to the hill and that's the other end of the shopping village just over there so I might walk back that way get a cup of tea maybe and then I'm gonna have to head home so it's been a pretty good day out I've driven here all the way from um, near London today but you know like I said you could come by train although it would be a fairly long walk but you know if you are out this way it's definitely worth visiting and you've got some really nice walks so this must be the tunnel so on that side where we just saw the train come out of the tunnel can't see a lot there's a lot of these rose hip bushes but it's down there but if we look here we get a nice view looking down onto the railway line so what I'm gonna do now we're clearly above the tunnel I'm going to walk off and head back. So, oh yeah, that's the um, children's play area, just here where many people travel on the train to. So the train should be in the station at this moment in time. I'm going to hang around this area now, do a bit of line siding, and then time to go. Well, I've had a great day here at the Evesham Vale Railway. The staff have been very pleasant, let me have a footplate ride. They're all very friendly here. So as I said, you know, if you are out this way, do come and visit them. It's a really, really nice railway. Um, you know, it's it's just like like any miniature railway, they're always exciting to, to visit. But here, you know, you've got the miniature railway, you've got the garden centre, the shopping centre down there, you've got a very nice country park. So do come and visit the Evesham Vale Railway. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment and um, from just outside the Evesham Vale Railway Station before she goes off on another trip, Dougal and her train, let's say goodbye.